What's up guys? It's your girl Eddie Elise and I'm back with another video. For those of you guys who are new here, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, but most importantly hit that bell button so you are in tune with every single thing that I post and that I do. For those of you guys who've been asking me for a informative video, well more informative video should I say, and the specific, I get this question, oh my gosh, guys, I get this question so much. How do I find my own style? How do I find my personal style? Where do I start? What do I do? I'm just going to answer it for you guys. It's, it's maybe four to five easy steps that um, you can follow to create your own style. Because yes, I do know I do put up a lot of style inspo across my platforms of social media, whether it's my Instagram or my YouTube or my Pinterest or whatever it is, I put up a lot of inspo. Inspo inspiration. It's, there's such a difference. Just because I wear it or just because you see other influencers wearing it does not mean that is your style or that you like it. So th we're just going to jump into the first tip and step to finding your own style because it piggybacks off of what I just said. So do not follow any influencers or celebrities. I want everybody to know that you as a person, you have a different vibe, you have a different body type, and you have a different aesthetic to you. It's super important to grasp that idea because just because I'm super into streetwear, I'm actually very versatile and I could kind of fit my aesthetics to do whatever, but I prefer street style a lot. But, for instance, if I was to do street style and somebody that is not really into the street style, that does, they like the street style, but they don't have that vibe to them, that aesthetic to them, um, that body type for street style, then it's not going to look as well. It's not going to be, you're not going to like that. Although you visually like it, physically you're not going to like it. So... I know I mentioned body type, and I don't want you guys to get offended when I say body type, but in fashion, is very true. You have to dress for your body type. Um, streetwear sometimes can, since streetwear is super oversized and um, super, like, messy, I want to say, street style can be, on bigger body types, it's not going to look as well as smaller body types because then sometimes it gets a little bit more drowned like you just look a little bit more drowned in your clothes so we want to keep that in mind as we know we can see when somebody is forcing their style so if that's not you it shows automatically it shows when you're wearing it it just it's there we know girl we know so we want to really get in tune with who you are what your vibe is, what your aesthetic is, and most importantly, what is your body type? So that moves on to the next one, which is finding your color palette. This is extremely important. Um, well, your signature color palette. I want to I want to make sure that you guys know the difference. Just because you have a color palette does not mean your whole entire closet has to be this one color palette. Um, you can, you know, adventure out and stuff like that. It's not that serious. But your core items, which I talked about core items in my last video, your core items should be in tune with your color palette, your signature color palette. For example, my color palette would be black. I love black, black, white, neutrals. I'm really into the, the whole entire neutrals, although I do do streetwear and I do have sneakers for example that are vibrant and colorful and I do have some pieces that are vibrant and colorful if you look at my closet as a whole you would see a whole bunch of black white neutrals you would see you know little pops of color here and there but as a whole my whole entire closet is mainly neutral things so I'm gonna put up some examples of other people that I've seen that have a, a evident color palette. So this girl right here, um, her name is Isabella. I've known her since I was in college. My, well, I'm still in college, but my first year of college in Miami, we met. And I promise you, her color palettes are more neutrals, but she sticks to like the pinks, the pastel pinks, the baby pinks, the nude pinks. That is her color palette. 
And although sometimes you do see her branching off into maybe the red or maybe other colors, if you open her closet legit, guys, this is her color. I kid you not. If you open her closet, you will see the same exact color. Um, you don't have to go as overboard like she does. I mean, it's not a bad overboard, but you don't have to go to the extreme that she does with her color palette. But it fits her aesthetic. Um, it's her color palette. Whatever she buys always looks good with her color palette and I mean it's a whole aesthetic for her it's a whole lifestyle like that is just her thing but I want to stress the importance of finding your color palette that you love that your go-to because once you find a color palette that's your go-to and that you're super confident in no matter what you put on you're going to be confident in because you know that is your go-to color palette and you look amazing in that color palette okay so Along with color palette, I want to stress the importance of finding your skin tone so that it's a little bit easier to know your color palette. I want to stress the importance between skin tone and skin color. It's very, it's two very different things. There are cool skin tones, there are neutral skin tones, and then there are warm skin tones. And a lot of people, um, refer, especially when accessorizing, they refer back to their skin tone. What looks good on me? Is it gold? Is it silver? Can I do both? How do I find out my skin tone? Because it, it's, it has nothing to do with your skin color, whether you're light skin, dark skin, medium skin, it does not matter. Tone is tone. And I, fa I did some research and I found some super easy ways to tell your skin tone. So if you look in, if you go into the light or whatever and you look at your veins, um, if you see like blue or purple veins, then you have more of a cool tone. If you see green veins, then you have a warmer tone. And if you see a mixture of both, like blue, purple, and green, a mixture of, of both, then you have a neutral tone. So what a cool tone is, which is the blue purple veins, that means you should be wearing, or not should be, but you would look better in silver, um, white gold, platinum, stuff like that you would look really good into. And then if you're more into the green veins, then you are a warmer tone. And that means you look better with gold, rose gold, and stuff like that. Now, if you have both, if you have green and blue veins or green and purple veins or whatever then you could literally do whatever. It's, the choice is yours, whatever you prefer. Um, but yeah, so I have green. I don't know if you could see. I doubt you could see. But I have green veins, and I love gold. Gold just flatters me more than silver. Sometimes I will pop on silver, not going to lie. But it just doesn't do me justice like gold does. It doesn't flatter me as well as gold does. And then also, guys, you can also go into depth with your skin tone with, um, with the clothing that you wear, your color palette. It all reflects back to your color palette because now you have your accessories. But if you're cooler tone, then maybe you could go into blues and you could go into... Um, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm going to just put a color wheel up and I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna point to good hues for different um skin tones how about that because it's very hard to explain um it's very hard to explain a hue of a color so we're just gonna put it on the on the thing and you could look at it here pause the video and boom next step <laughs> Next step, and I find this very important, is very time consuming, and a lot of people might skip over this, but I think this is the main idea of finding your own style, guys. I kid you not. I promise you, if you do this, you will see a significant change in your wardrobe, in your style, in everything. Like, you would, you're gonna thank me, okay? This is documenting what you wear for a minimum of I want to say like three to six months, sometimes even a year. Like if you're really, if you really want to get the best, I would say document yourself for at least like 
seven months okay if you're really strict on time and you're like oh my god this summer is coming up i need to change my style whatever the case may be then you could go ahead and do like four three to four three to six months um but yeah so by this i mean you don't have to to document you don't have to post online you don't have to do that if you want to you can be my guest um but every single day Every single it's tedious, but every single day I want you to take a picture of your outfit. I don't care if you're in pajamas that day. I don't care if you are in um if you look crazy and you're just going to the store and you have a pair of sweatpants and a big ass t-shirt, whatever the case may be, every single day take a picture of your outfit so that by the time you're done, by the end of the three months, by the end of the six months, or by the end of the year, you can reflect on those pictures to see your true style it's different so the first step i told you guys not to follow any influencers and this step right here this third main step will allow you to step into your own style rather than stepping into somebody else's style that might not work for you so that leads me to the very fourth step and that is to reflect fix and research so once you once you're done documenting your whole entire outfits every single day, do not miss a day, th- whether it's in 3 months, 6 months or a year from now, once you're done documenting, reflect. So whether you print them out, I mean that's a little excessive, you don't have to, but whether just it's in your camera log or if you make a new album that says reflection or new style, whatever the case may be, Once you come, you see what reoccurs. What is reoccurring more than a lot of times? (laughs) What is reoccurring more than a lot of times? No, but seriously, what is reoccurring, okay? Um, Is it crop tops? Is it sweatpants? Is it sweaters? Body con clothing, so super tight fit clothing. Are you into that? Um... Loose fit clothing, like sneakers, heels, boots. What is reoccurring that is in a, that you don't even notice that is reoccurring? Because this is the main point of this exercise. We tend to wear things without realizing. We have a repetitive style without realizing. And if we document it, we can now see, oh shit, I wear a lot of sweatpants. This type of sweatpants, the the one that it has elastic at the bottom or the straight leg sweatpants, I wear a lot of that. Or, oh my goodness, I wear a lot of graphic t-shirts or, oh shit, I wear a lot of crop tops. So these are the things that you can pick up on after you document and you're like, okay, this is my style. I see I wear a lot of crop tops, right? Do I like the way I look in them? That's your next question. Do you like the way you look in, let's just say, crop tops or sweatpants or whatever the case may be? Whatever that is reoccurring, do you like it? Yes or no? So um, now you say, okay, do you like crop tops? Okay, yes, I like crop tops, but I don't like the way the loose fit crop tops fit on me. I like the more so the way like a tighter fit crop top fits on me. So, okay, so crop tops are in. I like that. I like the way the tighter fit crop tops fit look on my body. This is the goal of the exercise. So now we know, okay, next time we go shopping, we're not even going to waste time on the looser fit crop tops. That doesn't fit me. It doesn't look nice on me. Um, Sweatpants. I like the sweatpants, but I feel like I look a little too relaxed. How can I elevate sweatpants? Because I see that I wear them all the time. So how can I incorporate that into my style? What can I wear with it? So this is the point of this exercise, to reflect and fix. There's things that you might not like that you wear constantly and you're like, oh my God, it looks horrible. No, I don't want to wear it. For example, loose fitted clothing. If you think you're into streetwear and you're wearing oversized everything, and your body type just isn't fit for it, you're going to be like, oh my god, I look crazy. And it's not about being fat or being skinny. There's people who are super curvy that doesn't really look great in the streetwear. Like, it's not about being fat or skinny, guys. Don't take that the wrong way. But it's just your 
your body type in general. So something that you may really, really like, you may see repetitive after your documentation and say, yeah, I thought this was looking good, but after seeing it a while, it's not really for me. It doesn't fit me. So that's, again, that's the whole purpose of this entire exercise of documenting is to find what you like and what you don't like that you already are wearing. That taps into your personal style rather than going out to Instagram and saying, hmm, this influencer is wearing this. I like that. That's my style. And judging your style based off of other what other people's wearing rather than what you're wearing and what's in here. So next, I guess it could be part of the fourth one or the, you can make it into a fifth step because actually let's make it into a fifth step because it's very elaborate research. So after you're done and you say, okay, I like the crop tops. I like the sweatpants. Um, I like more of the tighter fitting clothes. What's next? How do I incorporate that into the 2020 trends? How do I incorporate that into what's going on now in fashion? Just do your research. You could go, like I said, I've done a video on trend forecasting and um, you could literally go on WGSN. You could go on Instagram. This is now where you are allowed to go back to these influencers and you go, okay, well... I see Eddie's wearing this white beater, but it's a cropped white beater and it's tight fit. So it's like a little bit more edgy and it's a little bit more street wear to it. So I can incorporate that. Okay, I like that. That is now when you can start looking back to influencers and celebrities and getting inspiration. This is where the inspiration comes in. Once you establish your own style. So yeah, that's all about research. And then there you have it, guys. Like, literally, I promise you, if you follow these four to five steps, you can find your own style. It's extremely important. A lot of people, a lot of people misinterpret style, like, finding their own style for finding their inspo. And it's two very different things. Please don't get confused about it. Finding You cannot find inspo if you don't find your own style first. So let's find our own style. And then you could go on Instagram. You could go on WGSN. You could search the internet for inspiration, Pinterest, whatever the case may be, and go from there. But finding your own style is super essential because, like I said, if you just copy somebody else's style, it might work for you. You might get lucky. But sometimes you might not. It might not fit you. It might not fit your aesthetic. It might not fit your vibe. It might not fit your body type. And sometimes it might look like you're just trying too hard because in reality, you're trying too hard. So that is all for my how to find your own styles. It's short, sweet, and simple. I hope you guys liked it. (laughs) I hope you guys liked it. If you like these informative videos, please give this video a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. That's the only way I know if I should continue doing these informative um, videos. If this helped you, please comment down below it helped you. So that, again, so that I know I need feedback. I don't get upset if you guys give me, hey, this video sucked. Or hey, um, don't make any more videos like this. I don't get pissed about that. I like that stuff. Be brutally honest with me, guys. So anyways, until next time. So anyways, guys, until next time, maybe soon, maybe when all of this madness is over, I can now teach you how to shop for your own personal style. What's the next steps? Like the, um, now that you established what you like and what you dislike, now how do I go shopping for that? Maybe that could be what I do next. So anyways, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Thank you guys for 61k on Instagram. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, I don't know what you guys are doing. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Pinterest. And oh, by the way, guys, I have my own website. I forgot to mention that. Wait a wait. Skirt. I have my own freaking website. Yes. If you go to www.edielise.com, you can see all about me, exactly what I do, all my partnerships. My webinars will be on there. And I have a really exciting thing coming, merch 
merch merch merch merchandise clothing guys i have on my way a lot of you guys a lot of my instagram supporters have been asking for clothing from me and i'm giving it to you guys so stay tuned head over to eddielise.com so you could learn more about me